Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. Super quick video for you because I don't want to waste your time, just like I don't want you to waste your money on this product right here. This is the, what is this? The Guardian Drones Puma Drone. I got this on Amazon for like $15 and I thought, ooh, maybe it would be a good cheap little trainer quadcopter. Um, and the, specifically because it does not have auto uh, hold or auto altitude hold. So this way you get some good, uh, you know, hand-eye coordination practice and you are in control of the throttle. Well, turns out that this thing is just not any good. It's, uh, the battery, it, it's just, there's like a poor connection between the battery and the, you know, the, the connector there, the little board. Um, it's got just a, just, it barely runs. Like you have to charge it up and then it'll run for like a few seconds. It's just, um, Oh, it's just really horrible. It's not even made so that it sits flat. It's like kind of crooked. Um, it sounds really horrible. Just very cheap quality plastic and ugh, ugh. And the thing is like, it's too bad because if it was just a little bit better, it would actually be worth the money. Save your money, spend a little bit more money and get something a lot better. If you want altitude hold, definitely get the Potensic A20. I think that's like maybe 30 or 35 dollars but it's well worth it it's a very well made little drone pretty powerful a lot of fun i like it i have a review about that if you want to check it out or uh maybe check out this one this is the eachine e016 and i like it a lot because you can actually you can actually use it you rotate this boom check that out and you use it as like a little airboat it comes with a little airboat thing or like a little hovercraft uh this one's really fun and it has a little thing where you can mount a Lego thing on top of that. I have or will have a review about that. So that one I think is, all, is also probably about $30. Or check out the Hubson X4. I don't really have a review about that, but that's my very first quadcopter that I ever got. It's actually sitting in the background right there. And that's a pretty good one. Or I think the Holy Stone, uh, what is it, HS170, I think. It's the Predator. That one looks pretty good. I will have a review on that soon, I think. And anyway, so yeah, just save your money. Uh, don't bother. Uh, I guess $15 is too cheap, even though you can get some good stuff for, you know, a few dollars more. Of course, I could be wrong about this. Um, and it, it, maybe I just got a terrible, terrible dud. I don't know if that is the case. Guardian Drones, get in contact with me and send me a new one and I'll check it out. But I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this saved you some time and money. I will see you again very soon. All right, let's see if we can kind of show you what's going on with this thing. So I just put a battery in here. Let's see if we can take this off at all. Nope, see, it, then it does this. It's like, just a second ago I was flying. I was doing pretty good. Oh my gosh. But now it just like, it has like no power. I mean, I'm full throttle. That's what I've done. If it was this good all the time, it would be like almost decent. And then it just cut out. And I think it's because it must have turned off temporarily because this thing is just... This connector right here is just so um, fragile. Plug it back in. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, no. No good. Thumbs down.